Hey, what's that? Is that a is that a red dot? What is that? It's kind of blinding. Oh wait, never mind. It, it it's just a just a blue dino. I think I got my colors mixed up. Oh. What? Red dino? That's unheard of. Alright, so welcome to How To Dino, and I hope you guys enjoyed that teaser because this is a new Dinobot website. It has a new black and red theme and it makes it look really clean. A lot of the navigation within the website is practically the same, so if we go to public servers, it should all look familiar, commands, status, all that looks familiar. The only difference is a new sleek theme. The bigger changes are when you go to manage your server. So if I click on manage server and then click on the server I like to manage, we are greeted with this slick new setup wizard. So we can go ahead and change our prefix if we'd like. So we can also go ahead and set our time zone. And of course, then I will use this for dates and time. If we click next, it says that we can set up an updates channel. And what this will do is send change logs to your server. So whenever Dino receives new features, you'll be up to date. I also want to point out that in the future, this update channel will also send out weekly statistics, such as the number of users that has joined your server, users that have been banned, kicked, muted, and much more. So I highly recommend setting an update channel, which I'm going to do now. We'll hit next, and then we get a page talking about premium, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit done. So with that, we are now greeted with the modules tab. But before we get into modules, let's go back to our dashboard. And if we come down to general settings, we can now set up manager roles. So basically what this option will let you do is set up allowed roles that, that will have access to this dashboard. So that will give them access to tweak dino settings. The other way of doing this is by enabling the manage server permission on a specific role and then assigning that role to that user. But if you don't want to assign Discord permissions to a certain role, you can just come onto the dashboard, select the manager role and boom, they're set. And that user will now have access to the dashboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow our mods to have access to the dashboard since our admin role already has permissions to access the dashboard. And then we've already set up our updates channel, but if you somehow forgot to set up a channel or didn't have one quite ready, you can come down and enable one here. Just make sure you select the channel and then hit update. So those are some new settings here on the physical dashboard. If we go back to modules, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we do have a new forms module. And this module will allow you to send out like questionnaires and stuff for users to fill out and answer. A great application for this, which is actually a template within this module, is for ban appeals. So if you ban a user and you want to have some sort of ban appeal system, you can actually use forms to do just that. So we'll go ahead and create a form. We'll give it a name. Since we're going to go ahead and use a template, I'm going to name this ban appeal. And then we can give it a description, which is just providing details about the form. But for this example, I'm just going to name it test. And then we'll click on use template and we'll go ahead and select ban appeals and apply that template. So as you can see, we get our default questions here for the template. So that includes why did you get banned? Why do you believe you should be unbanned? Is there anything else you would like for us to know? So those are the questions that are provided within the template. If you'd like, you can go ahead and add your own question, type it up here. And then we also have the option to set up the response types. So if you want users to be able to type in a longer answer, we can select the paragraph option. You also have the option to have users provide a short answer, which will just go ahead and limit the character count. We also have the option for multiple choice. 
and check boxes, which is all pretty cool. We can also set this question to be required or not by clicking this little toggle. And we can also duplicate questions by clicking on this little button right here. To delete a question, click on the trash can icon. And if we want to go ahead and clear all questions, we can just hit the clear all questions, which I've just done. If you made a mistake and want to undo that, we can hit this undo button and boom, we've got our questions back. Now if we scroll down, we can select a submissions channel. This is where all the forms will be submitted to. So we'll just go ahead and send it to our logs channel. And then we can set up submission managers. And what this will do is allow users within the role to view and manage form submissions. So we'll just grant that option for our mods. Next up, we can click on options and we can set allowed roles. And what this will do is only allow the roles we enter here to fill out and submit forms. If we set up ignored roles, users within these roles will not be able to submit forms. We can limit our forms to members in the server only by enabling this toggle, or we can disable it. Since this is a ban appeal template, we have this toggle automatically enabled which only allows this form to be submitted by users that have been banned from our server. So that's a very handy option for ban appeals. And then we have another option that only allows users to submit one form. And then right next to that, we can enable anonymous submissions and that will hide the identity of users that submit forms. If you want to go ahead and edit a question, simply click on the question and you'll be able to manipulate the question and change it to whatever you'd like. So I'm not gonna do that here, but that is an option. So I'm gonna go ahead and use undo to do what I just did. And then once you're done, go ahead and save the form. So now we have our new ban appeal form. We can go back and edit it if we choose. And up top, we also have our share link, which we can just go ahead and copy and paste it in the server. We also have a button for our submissions. So here we can View all of our submissions to the form. We can sort our submissions from most recent, oldest, or organize our submissions through A to Z or Z to A. We also get another link where we can share our form. Then if we click on the view tab, this is essentially what the user will see once they click on our form. So they'll be presented with the questions and then they enter the response, hit submit. Now, since we are the owner of the server, which means we have permissions to manage the forms, we can actually view submissions. And that will take us back to this page where we can sort the submissions and, and search by username. We'll go ahead and go back. We're gonna create a new form, but instead of clicking on a template, we're gonna create one from scratch just to show you the basics to creating a form. So again, we'll give it a name. We'll call this test. We'll also set the description, but since this is an example, I'm just gonna go ahead and name that test as well. So instead of using a template, we're gonna go ahead and create our questions from scratch. So to create a question, again, just go ahead and click on the actual question area, and then go ahead and type in your question. We'll just set it to be a multiple choice question and have yes. And then we'll add another response, no. And then we'll add one more and just say maybe. But. I don't think I really want that response. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. So the only options are yes or no. We've set this to be a required question. We'll go ahead and duplicate this. And then we'll just go ahead and ask a similar question saying, are you sure you're team Dino? And then we can, we'll go ahead and leave it as multiple choice, but I want to go ahead and demo that you can reorder the form questions by just coming off to the left here, click on the three dots, drag your question upwards or wherever you need to move it, just drag your question. We've gone ahead and reordered the question. So we're just gonna drag that back down. We're gonna select our submissions channel, setting it as logs once again. We're gonna select our managers to be our mods. We're gonna select our managers to be our mods once again coming down to options. So I'm only gonna allow members of the server to submit the form. 
and we'll go ahead and enable anonymous submissions. We'll go ahead and hit save. And we can now have our new form. So that's the walkthrough for creating a form. Now let's just go ahead and test out this new form. We'll hit view. So are we team Dino? I'll go ahead and say yes. Am I sure? I'll go ahead and say yes and submit. Now we get a message saying thank you for submitting. And since we didn't enable that one submission per user, we can go ahead and create a new submission and submit it again. So now if we go back to our server, I see that we have two submissions. And since they're anonymous, it just says submission one, submission two. We can view what they said. And here they both said that they are for Team Dino. And same thing for the last submission. We have the option to delete the submission. So you can delete it from there or we can click the view and delete the submission from there. We're also presented with an option to download our submissions that will download to a Microsoft Excel file, which you can then manipulate if you're into charts and graphs and stuff like that. So that is the new forms module and the refresh Dino dashboard. Hopefully you guys enjoy these new features. I know I'm really pumped for this. So So see you in the next video. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to either comment it down below, but I highly recommend visiting the DinoBot server, which I will link in the description below for you to answer your questions. You'll be able to get your questions answered much faster. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.